The run is finally over for Bradford City. Finishing 2022 with a victory that ends a run of four straight losses in all competitions and have lifted the weight off Mike Hughes' shoulders. But there's no time to pat themselves on the back with a big battle this New Year's Day as Salford City come to town. The hosts are unbeaten in three in the league, but more importantly sit right behind Bradford in the table. A win will leapfrog the hosts to propel Neil Woods' men into the playoff spots, a place that many expect Salford City to be come the end of this season. As those in attendance and the two clubs paying tribute to the great Brazilian forward that was Pele, who we sadly lost over the festive period. This could be a big six-pointer come the end of the season, one that both these sides will look back on and perhaps see as season-changing or defining a game. At the moment, it's the hosts that are pushing forward looking brightest early on. Lovely ball in towards the top of the 18-yard box. That'll do nicely. Celebration from the Dean Oliver. Well, I'm not sure he got a touch, judging by his reaction. The stadium announcer's given it to him. I just wonder if Theo Vassell actually nudged it in. I think it's come off the defender's head. It's going to be an own goal inside the first 10 minutes, but Bradford have the breakthrough. The perfect way to start the new calendar year. The probing long ball over the top. Mark Hughes' men looking to utilise that quite often in the early exchanges, although that's a little clumsy from his defence as Bailey feeds it through. Flag staying down for the moment, fine save by Lewis. Brilliant stop from the goalkeeper to deny Matt Smith, who's been in excellent form over this Christmas period. Does well just to time his run. Considering the form he's been in, you're a little surprised to see him miss that. Just trying to play it out from the back and move it downfield in the inverted commas right manner. Uh, the away side, that'll be a free kick, as that tackle certainly wasn't in the right manner. It's a long way out, might not be worth a shot, but certainly try and create something to send into the box, that's exactly what they'll do, Watt floats it in, it's going to be nodded back across goal, Bailey was the intended target, couldn't get onto it, corner to come. Hanging ball into the area, Smith the intended man, he will wait for another delivery, another bit of service. A free shot at the back post, an emphatic finish that. McElhaney with a wonderful hit. And it's even Stevens inside 15 minutes. And he's got a lot of room and a lot of time to judge this, but this is no easy finish. Looping down to him, it's so controlled and so well executed from the 30-year-old. Not a bad way to get your side back level pegging. Little check inside by Folds who waits to see what's available to him. How are they sending it wide? Tries to probe down the right, he's going to flash all the way across and that one is going to be Oliver's goal. Look for a second like it could be another own goal from the away side but Vadine Oliver making sure and tucking it in from close range three goals inside half an hour and Bradford City back ahead once again and this one will count for the centre forward not for the crossbar and as easy a finish as you'll get as a striker just a second in the league this season his first one since September clipped in cleared away not well away. Bradford making life very difficult indeed. That's Salford defence. Over with the header. Well saved by King. Able to get two hands on it, the goalkeeper. Just a bit of spin that turned it back towards him as well, made life a little easier. Small gives it short. Right dropping deep. Continuing the progress, and wants it back as well. 
Lovely ball towards the far post, although that's not the intended outcome. Struck on the volley. A very good save. Quick reactions from King to deny Wright, who was waiting patiently for something to come his way. He almost took his opportunity. Neat and tidy around the top of the 18-yard box. Right, can't beat the first man. Corner. You get the feeling that the hosts want to put this one to bed. Give themselves a little bit of breathing room here. Very crowded in the six-yard box. It's going to be difficult for King to come and collect anything. He's not going to have to at the moment. We might have to deal with that. It's off the post. Almost everybody caught off guard. I'm not sure if it was a cross or a shot. But the Welsh goalkeeper rooted to the spot. Maybe even taken a deflection that just guided away from everyone. Salford survived for now. Plenty trying to join and support the break, but that's going to be a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area. And a booking as well for the challenge. And the man that won the free kick might fancy the free kick here. And he's going to hit it. Oh, he's going to find the back of the net with a peach. Two super strikes. Conor McElhaney with an emphatic way once more to pull his side level. Right on the hour mark. And goals are like buses. You wait a while and then two turn up very quickly indeed. And two finishes as well. Of the highest order from that man today. Keeps the away side back level and back in this game. Untidy challenge from behind. And the ball count. The change is coming here. Sutton being replaced by Abo Issa. Launch forward from the free kick. Issa's there! It's his first touch! Five seconds after coming off the bench, it's an inspired substitution from Mark Hughes and an immediate payoff for the manager and for the man that's just come on. Not tracked, not looked at, and the header back across goal finds him perfectly. First goal for the club, for the centre forward. Bit of room on this near side if they can move it out to it. All right, sending it back into the middle, gets it back at his feet. Oh, that's a delicious pass through. It's just touched wide. King committed and got it all wrong. Jamie Walker unable to provide that final finish. Just a little heavy. Get the feeling there could still be more to come in this one. What? Room to roam on the left. Torre. Still no changes from the away side. They're happy to stick with the original starting 11. They may pay off as well. Oh, it's off the crossbar. How, oh, how did that stay out? Breathing room for Bradford with the free kick to come, but this is what tested them just a moment ago. Barely no idea almost whether to use his head or legs and gets all in a bit of confusion with himself. <laughs> Lump forward by King. The home supporters want the full-time whistle. It's not coming yet. There's a lot of room on this near side too. Gonna be flashed towards goal. And again, still not cleared away. Smith with the effort. Gratefully held by Harry Lewis. He will hold on as long as possible as he can to this. Well, kindly to the striker, but it's not been his day. Last chance to get it into the penalty area. It's not going to happen for Salford today. 
Bradford bounce back from their losing run with back-to-back -back wins to finish 2022 and begin 2023. They go fifth in the table with a game in hand over the other three sides in the playoff spots. It's a huge result for Mark Hughes' man. It's frustrating for Salford, who perhaps will feel they could have got something out of this encounter. But a five-goal thriller kicks off the new year in style. It finishes Bradford three, Salford two.